This is Sirach chapter 3 and verse 21. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. Barak for Yahweh. Barak for Yahweh Shai. Barak for Yahweh. Barak for Yahweh Shai. Barak for Yahweh. Barak for Yahweh Shai. I would like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashimra Kakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well for preaching the 100% truth in season and out of season according to the Most High's will, the correct doctrine, giving up their bodies as a living sacrifice for the Most High's sake, which is their reasonable service. All right? Double honors goes out to you. I would like to say peace, which is shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, starting off with the 144,000 down to the one third of all Israelites who will receive salvation around the globe. All right, the nation of Israel consists of these so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, as well as you Israelite foreigners who may not look like a typical black, Hispanic, or Native American. But through your seed line, you go back to an Israelite man, and your spirit bears witness, so your spirit's proof. It's evidence that you are an Israelite because you can accept this 100% word, which is the truth, right? You're drawn to it, all right? You fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, okay? No doubt about it, okay? I like to give more praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rekakadash, for allowing me to do another video through the Holy Spirit, all right? which guides me okay so this video through the spirit topic is going to be seek not out things that are too hard for thee seek not out things that are too hard for thee okay because when you're in this truth all right there's levels to knowledge okay and that goes with any field in this um, field of knowledge in society, right? There's levels to knowledge in physics. There's levels to knowledge in math. There's levels to knowledge in um, uh, engineering, all right? There's levels to knowledge. Okay, so in this truth, there's levels to knowledge, all right? You're supposed to begin with the basics, then you level up to things that are more secret and harder, okay? Harder things to break down, but you start first start off with the basics, all right? You don't start off trying to um, get revelations um, about the hardest topics at the beginning. You first have to get uh, the basics down, the foundation, your routine, okay? Have the basics down, lock, pack, okay? Which is your foundation, which is the rock, okay? And not trying to jump and skip levels, all right? To so you can just feel like you have revelations by the Most High. The Most High is giving you all these different breakdowns, all of this spirits just flowing within within you, all right? And you feel like you're um. You feel like you're basically God, all right? Because you have all these breakdowns and you can jump levels, okay? This truth is about balance, all right? It's about knowing your current limit, all right? But of course, keep breaking your limits, all right? But there's always a current limit, all right, to knowledge, all right? The Most High didn't reveal all infinite knowledge, all right, in the Bible, okay? The Bible is not an infinite knowledge book, all right? But, the, but it has the most knowledge, all right, of this world, all right? So, all right, there's levels, okay? You first have to get the milk, the basics, all right? The curses of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, all right? Jacob, Esau, okay? And then you, you, you keep leveling up, all right? To harder prophecies, okay? 
more precepts. Okay. It's all the spirit, if the spirit's dealing with you, all right, that you can level up, all right? The spirit's not dealing with you, all right? The whole side just not dealing with you, okay? You can learn all the, memorize all the precepts you want, right? But if the most side's not dealing with you, all right, it's not going to profit, okay? Because the most side has to be dealing with you, all right, so you can be saved, all right? He would have to choose you, okay? So that's why you have to keep hoping or right, praying that you're going to be part of the elect, okay? That all the studying you're doing, all right, is going to profit, okay? It's not going to be um you being just uh, um, that, that you're a part of the chosen, all right? And it's going to profit, okay? So seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. All right, you see, so everybody has a current limit. Every is like man, all right, in this truth, okay, has a current limit, okay. And you have to find your limit, all right, and stay on your lane, okay. And then when the Most High wants you to level up, He's gonna make you level up, all right, to harder um, um, precepts and breakdowns and revelations, okay. That takes experience, all right? It says, but what is commanded thee think thereupon with reverence? For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. For more things are showed unto thee than men understand, all right? So the wisdom, all right, of the scriptures, all right, is wisdom that this world is not aware of, okay? This world doesn't value the scriptures as real wisdom to go by in life, all right? They read one precept, God loves everybody, and that's it, okay? But that's not even the Bible, God loves everybody, all right? They read John 3 and 16, they think God loves everybody, and that's it. They don't... um base their life around following the law, statutes, commandments, all right? The wisdom of the Bible, they don't try to apply in real life, okay? But the Most High chose certain men, all right, and called them to this truth, okay? So learn what you have to learn in the correct order, all right? It says, be not curious in unnecessary matters, all right? Don't try to come up with new revelations and new breakdowns so you can seem like you're um uh, my um uh, you have your like you're doing your own thing, okay? Because everything has to be under, all right, the most high, all right. And the most high is under order, okay. The hundred percent doctrine is already revealed, okay. Coming up with new revelations and breakdowns when the end is almost here so you can seem like a an ancient wise prophet that nobody's used to a rare special being okay that's just taking that into the word right which is there's a consequence to that okay all right a lot of these different camps teaching false doctrines all right it's all wicked the most i not dealing with any of that okay the hundred percent doctrine is with the camp of Great Millstone, point blank period, all right? Because the Spirit revealed it, all right. Starting off with apostles and elders on down, all right. This is First Corinthians chapter three and verse two. I have fed you with milk, and and not with meat, for here had to, ye were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are able ye able. It's like it, yet now are ye able. Okay? So you first start off the milk. When you have a baby, you just don't start giving it meat, pizza, fries. You don't give baby meat, pizza, and fries, but some parents do. All right? You're supposed to give um, a child milk. All right? You start off easy. Then you keep rising. All right? 
Of course, the day of the Lord is coming soon, all right? But you don't want to try and cram so much um, wisdom in your head, try and memorize every precept in the Bible, all right? That's being over-righteous. Why should, why should you destroy thyself, okay? Trying to memorize every precept in the Bible, okay? Start off the milk, all right? Foundation, get the basics, all right? And keep leveling up through the spirit, all right? Wherever the Most High guides you, all right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 16. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself overwise. Okay, you see, overwise. Okay, why shouldst thou destroy thyself? You see, destroy thyself. We're in this flesh. Okay, okay, in the kingdom, all right, we're gonna be wise. All right, we're gonna know all things. Okay, of course, under the order of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, there's levels to knowledge in the kingdom. All right, but as of right now, okay, we're in this flesh. We have a limit. Okay, we can't just we have a our, our flesh is weak. All right, if we try to be over righteous to the ex, to the exact T. All right, we're trying to be perfect to the exact T. All right, we're trying to gain so much precepts, stay on the highways and byways, twenty four seven, not go to sleep. All right. That's destroying yourself, all right? That's not being wise. That's being overwise, okay? That's being foolish, going on the high. It's being foolish, all right? If you go on the highways and byways 24-7, all right? If you're trying to uh, um, cram every breakdown, all right? Uh, um, memorize every precept in the Bible, all right? Okay? That's that's destroying yourself. Okay, that's being overwise. All right, you have to first start off slow and then keep increasing. All right, because knowledge is infinite. All right, all right, you can keep reading the the, um, the precepts. All right, which is the light, the truth. You can keep gaining more knowledge. All right, but you, uh, um, trying to uh, um make new breakdowns and revelations. All right, that's wicked. Okay, and the most high is gonna destroy you for that. Okay, so you don't want to be in that position. Okay, because you trying to memorize every priest in the Bible. What is that? What is that profit? Okay, what is that profiting? Okay, you twenty four seven reading the Bible, right? Not going to sleep, just reading, trying to memorize every exact precept. Okay. Or you focusing on a certain precept and breakdown and you trying to study that and break it down the right way. Okay, which one's better? Okay. You have to focus, start off with baby steps. All right. Some guys just want to jump in and um jump to the highest level at the beginning, which is foolish. Okay. It's Revelation 22 and 19. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part of the book of life. Okay? Simple. Okay? If you don't tell the whole truth, all right, if you keep, if you don't tell the people the RFID chips, the mark of the beast, if you don't tell the pe um, people Yahweh's, Yahweh's the name of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh shot his son's name, all right, if you try to take away from the truth, all right, the most is going to take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this book. All right. And if you add on to the word, okay. Let me get that real quick. It says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things. Yahweh shall, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Okay. The plagues that are written in this book are um are horrific. Okay, the plagues that happened in Egypt. All right. And, but most of gonna send plagues that are beyond that. Okay. 
So you don't want to add onto the word, all right? All right, just break it down the right way, all right? Keep it straight to the point, all right? But of course, get the point across, all right? To the best of your ability to edify the sheep, all right, of the most high. All right, you how bless me, I'm sorry. Okay. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. All right. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust. See, their own lust. Okay. Which is a demon. Okay. You trying to, you trying to glorify yourself. Right with a new special breakdown, okay. But after their own lust, they shall heap. They shall, slakia, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, all right. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables, okay. Let's check up this word fables, all right. The blue letter Bible, which is fables. Strong Greek word is. 3454. Muthos. Muthos. All right. So, Muthos, right? They pronounce mytho, Muthos, right? It says. It's a speech, word, saying, a narrative story, a true narrative. It says a fiction. Right, a fable, an invention, a falsehood. Okay, so it says a falsehood right here. Okay, it's like a falsehood. It says falsehood, a state of being untrue, a lie, lying. Okay. So that's what, that's a lot of the doctrine out right now. All these different revelations. The Most High has one true doctrine. It's already been revealed. Okay. There are all these different camps and these different fables and lies they want to push out. Okay. So they can just be seen of this world like they're an ancient wise um, prophet. Okay. That's strong. That's because knowledge uh, makes them proud okay you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to stay humble and just teach what was what has been taught okay this is first corinthians 8 and 1 now as touching things offered unto idols we know that we all have knowledge knowledge puffeth up but charity edifieth okay so knowledge puffeth up okay if you have a lot of knowledge all right of the scriptures, all right? Always stay humble because there's always more levels to gain, all right? Don't be on no prideful parade of I'm a I'm God on earth, all right? I did it. I'm enlightened. I'm in the kingdom already, okay? I'm the wisest guy on earth, all right? Because the most I can take all that wisdom away in the snap of a finger, okay? And give it and give it to someone who actually is gonna cherish it, okay, and stay humble with the knowledge. Because this is the knowledge, the best knowledge on earth. We know America's gonna get destroyed. We know the most high in his son's name. Alright. And we know the guidelines we have to follow, the straight gate, so we can succeed in re salvation. Okay. Majority of this world doesn't know that. Okay. So stay humble. All right, Sirach 3 and verse 21. Seek now, seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. All right, be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shown unto thee than men understand. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Bashimir Kakadash, our outer parent calamity to America, 
and Shalom to the elect of Israel. Yasharallah. Shalom.